There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And this is Sword Fight 2 by Carlos Esteve. Oh, well, we can tell by the menu that this is not an English game. But fortunately, I know that teclado means play. So, we have the option to calibrate and redefine controls and stuff. But, let's just uh, jump in and I'll show you what this is. El Bosque Phase 1. And we have a little man controlled by the arrow keys here. And his goal is to take out these two nasty individuals without them beating him up like this. That's right. It's a side-scrolling brawler in the style of Golden Axe. So he can jump with uh, the A key, and then he stabs people with the Z key. So A and Z. Let's see if I can figure out anything else. The arrow keys shift him about. And it's all about timing everything right. And sometimes you just have to get out of the way because there's no avoiding. Oh, and it does have the uh, double tap, the ability to make him run. And uh, there are potions to pick up, which is nice. And I'm not really paying much attention, unfortunately, because, you know, it's one of those games where, oh, he, he can ram people, cool. Oh dear. Come on, up you get. I don't know how many hits he can take before uh, I don't know how many hits that guy could take either, but he's down now. I don't know the use of the potions button. I should probably figure that out. Let's see. Nope, not much happening there. P to pause. And A and Z appear to be the only buttons that do anything. Huh. Oh, this guy looks significantly more difficult. Yes. Oh. Not wrong about that. And there appears to be some sort of dead lizard or dragon or something. I should probably focus on those brawler guys. Unfortunately, it's not Golden Axe or Streets of Rage or anything like that, unfortunately, in terms of its ability to control. It's very cumbersome. So I'm trying to uh, do the whole Golden Axe thing and it's just not working out for me. He says, cutting into his opponents with glee. You know, the, the basic beat em up premise is there. You know? It's very difficult to get that wrong. I've seen people get it wrong. It was a really long time ago where I played a beat em up. Can't remember its name now. Fist Fight, maybe? Or. Uh, I can't remember. Was it fist fight? But it was desperate. Oh, just that guy to destroy. Yeah, not so tough on your own now, are you? Huh. Right, let's investigate this lizard thing. What are you? Oh, he's a dinosaur. Look at that. And unfortunately, the inevitable has happened. There are more people. So, I'm giving this more playtime than I usually would. Because I believe this is a one-man effort, and that's that's to be commended. One one person making a sort of playable beat 'em up, cool. If this had been in an entire team's work, you know, I'd uh, I'd be mocking it a lot more. But yes, they're very spongy. The enemies. Uh, I guess we're pretty spongy ourselves. Taking a lot of hits. You know, you'd have been dead multiple times over. Oh, Hit from behind. What a dirty trick. Well, that swing did nothing. Okay. Can we proceed? Huh. Sometimes I did a double tap and it works. Other times, no dice. So, the hit detection... Not great on the old keyboard. Let's see if I can... Nope. Oh well. 
Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh well, let's proceed a little bit further. And it's more of the same, except now there's three of them. How inventive. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably doomed at this point. But, you know, you've seen pretty much all you need to. You know, there, there maybe there's some spectacular part of the game later that I will be missing out on. But playing this, uh, it's a chore. And I think I'll stop now. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on the channel. And if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if you know how to teclado this game and redefiner all the keys properly, then you're probably one of my very talented multilingual patrons who would give this game a little more time and figure out that it's actually a diamond in the rough. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's being too optimistic, even for this game. But hey, I've, I've, I've pretty much knocked them all down here. So I shall stride boldly forth. And it's more of the same. So I'm going to leave it here. Until next time.